Show me who you are then. Right here. Can you hold it up and hold it up? Sure. Right here. I'm going to zoom in on you now, so hold your finger where you are. Oh, I'm sorry. That's all. Right here. Oh, now I've got a glare. I'm sorry. Can you lean the top of it forward a little bit? Teach you, not you? Yep, perfect. Now, put your finger where you are again. Okay. Up, down, well, right here. That little face sticking out in the back? <laughs> no. <laughs> that tall face right here. The tallest one on the picture. <laughs> Isn't that something? The shortest person in the class turned out to be the tallest. I'm glad of that. <laughs> What are y'all doing in that picture? What's going on there? Oh, we were doing a, uh, a ship museum. Why? You were studying about sailing in the oh. sea, and that's the reason why this was hey. built. We built the ships. I'm Richard. We had the pirates. You know, we, that's the way we dress as pirates. Yeah. That's yeah. awesome that you were doing that in what is now a ship museum. <laughs> mm, that's the truth, isn't it? Yeah. And look at Miss Perry, yeah. the teacher. The uh huh. Do we have, do we, do we know, as, as your memory serves you, mm -hmm. what this room was, what this room was? This was originally the ballroom to yes. the Scarborough House, but what was that when you were here at school? The classroom. The classroom. Yeah. Yeah. The classroom. If I'm not mistaken, this is a six-way classroom because the music uh -huh. teacher would be in there because the piano was in there. Okay. And she, we would come in there and she would, we would have music lessons, okay. you know, for the chorus. Mm -hmm. And things of that sort, but this was the the largest room. Okay. And beyond this, where the gift shop is mm -hmm. now, beyond, you know, like when you go up the back stairs, yeah. uh, what was that room? Was that also a classroom? I've had pictures yeah, of that. That, that it looks Clay, like that a, was Mrs. Clay room. And yes, that was a classroom. And that uh -huh. looks like a classroom because uh, yeah. I've seen some. I think it was the third grade class. This was his parents' class. No, the parents were yes. That's right. Uh-huh. She was over And this was Miss Perry. Oh, Perry. Was that Miss Perry? Miss Kamadi? No, Miss. No, Miss Kamadi came from back in the back somewhere. And this was Miss, uh... Second floor, wasn't she? First floor. Miss, um... Miss Haynes, Miss Haynes was here. Miss Haynes, Haynes was on this side. Didn't Miss Haynes, Haynes, Haynes move? No, over here. And Miss Harris went upstairs. Then Mr. Uh, well, Miss Haynes was in that big room there. there. Right let, here. let me ask you all a question. Right there. Uh huh. That maybe you all can answer. What is that? Miss Perry. Let me ask you a question. Miss Perry was next to Miss Dixon's office. Well, where was Miss Porter? Miss Porter's office was back here. Uh huh. Miss Porter was back here. Then Miss Cromartie took over from Miss Cromartie. Ms. Poulter went on maternity leave. Mm -hmm. And Ms. Kamada came and took over her place. Yeah. Now let me ask you this. I went to Ms. Poulter when we was upstairs on the right hand side. Yes. Did she was up there one time. Turned around. Yes. Turned she around. was upstairs. Yeah, I went to her there. Now, but I want to ask you all this. Mm -hmm. If I'm right, didn't we have three flows to yes. go? Yeah, yes. we did yes. have three flows. Yes. That's, the, that's the one up there. Yeah. That's right, we had three And, and yeah. Mr. Yeah. Dixon's office was at one point no. over oh. there. Okay, but we didn't know that. Yeah, he we was up there at one point. <coughs> okay. When we came, Mr. Dixon was downstairs. Okay. okay. This is now the gift shop. So when you guys came up, uh, if you came through this this back door, mm -hmm. what was in this room? Were the, was it a classroom or do you remember? It was no, it came through the, the side door. Yeah. Yeah, Not the one that door there. The side door there. By the lunchroom. Then we went up the stairs. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 It was like a little gate. Yeah. It was like a gate. It was on the side. It was probably on the side back there. And the courtyard was a gate back there too. Right. My mom was in the lunchroom. Yeah. And if you further back, then maybe you would have a bathroom. Yeah, the bathroom. I don't care how. And the fountain was in the center. 
and mom okay. walks through the middle of the um, cafeteria. Yeah. Yeah. She's a big old black lady. Okay, straight. Like the floor here, I would be in the center. Yeah. 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 Were the restrooms on, yeah, the, restroom. on the right of and the now? Yeah, and the family was on the on the right of the restroom. Okay, okay. Yeah. And then straight. You had the restroom, the girls down on one side and the boys exactly. on the other side. Okay. Exactly. Okay. And then straight through, further back than the, the garden yeah. pavilion, were, which yeah. exists now, mm -hmm. that was the annex oh, where you had three or four. That's not where it is. That's just a drink. Did anybody here go to that? Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, all right. 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 No, 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 that was, that was a part of the thing, of a lesson. We had about our teachers is that they taught the total child and not in isolation, so they gave you the whole gamma of what education was all about. We had devotion every day, which started today. And may, perhaps this is what is missing now with the kids when they go to school because they don't start the day, you know, with devotion. So it, it but I've been back several, many times, you know, in the building and it's always that type of um, gratitude for what, you know, West First Street School did for us and how it trained us to be who we are. Um, I could just look around the room. Let me get your name. My name is Rosabelle Fache Dixon. Okay. And what did you want to add to what she was saying? Oh, I want to say that I really like this school because do you know that after I graduated, went to high school, graduated from high school, went to college, graduated, and I did my first substitute teaching in this building. Mr. Dixon called me and asked me if I would like to serve as a substitute teacher, and I agreed. Now, at the time, I had five children, and I told him that I needed to get a babysitter before I could come, and he said, fine, you get your babysitter, I will send somebody to hold the class until you get here, and then we will send you to the class, and he did that, so I substitute quite a bit in this building. Ever in this room? Uh, well, all over, so and it, wherever they needed a teacher, then I went there. So I enjoyed being here and it brought a lot of memories back. It reminded me of the layout of the school where we had two buildings and the different activities that we had. We celebrate May Day where we had to plant the maypole and get all dressed up. I was a member of the student council and I was secretary at one time and we would meet at First African Baptist Church across the street when we had meeting. And we also got a chance to visit some of the other schools um, at their student council. Do you, any of y'all have pictures of student council and the, and the group of pictures we have? I don't Probably have any not, pictures no. now. Well, no. what, as you, I guess, have a unique perspective because you went here and you taught here, mm -hmm. uh, how was it different as a teacher versus being a child? Well, what I did, I tried to bring back all the values that our teacher instilled in us when I was a student, and I tried to bring that back to the students that was here when I substituted. Yes, and we also, and I thought I was, um, um, I felt good because I had a fifth grade teacher, Mrs. Irma Williams. She taught us how to sew. I made my first dress in fifth grade, and she would also send me on errands. And I thought I was an adult. I thought I was a teenager because she would send me to Crest. That's the five and dime store on Broughton Street to buy the materials. And I thought I was just, I, I was just somebody because she had enough faith in me to send me on Broughton Street and I've never, you know, my parents, when I went on Broughton Street, I went with my mother, but going by myself, I thought I was an adult. <laughs> so I really enjoyed that, yes. And she would send me on errand because um, her mother-in-law lived in the village and I, she would fix her lunch every day and she trusted me enough to go pick her lunch up every day. 
So I did that too. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, yes. So, yes. I mean, did that really make a difference in who you are as a person? Today? Yes, yes, yes. So it's more than just reciting something. Right, right, right. And the kids really misses that, you know, the day. Did anybody ever refuse to say it? Oh, no. You didn't refuse. You didn't refuse anything. I don't care what it was. You didn't refuse anything. Awesome. Thank you. You are. Okay, well, so we walk in the front door here, and the staircase started right here, and it goes all the way up to the third floor. So it's very different than it is. Right. Thank you. And um, it had a banisters on, the, on each side, and the boys used to slide down the banister all the way down from the first, third floor, all the way down to the first floor. And they would get whippings by Mr. Dixon. Paddle, paddle in hand. Let me change something real quick. <laughs> I'm going to get over here where I have the ship, and I'm going to go across and point it at you. Can you tell me again what was in this room? And I'll tell you when to go, okay? What used to be in this room? Staircase. Where was it? Staircase right in the middle. Right in the middle. Started right here. And went all the way up to the floor. All the way up to the third floor. And what were the boys doing here? Sliding down the banister. And they got caught by, the, by, the, by the, uh, the principal, Mr. Dixon, and he would give them a whipping. We'd get a whipping in the hand. On the palm of your hand, not In the palm of the hand. You always had a, 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 a paddle about that thick. A what? A paddle. Okay. A paddle about that thick, and he would whip them in the hand. How many lips? It's according to how bad it was. <laughs> how many times he got caught, right? How many times he got caught? Matthew okay. Fish Market, yeah, right. Mr. Williams the Barber, the uh, Duke yeah. Drug Duke Store. Store. Oh, right yeah. there on that corner, yeah. over and there. there. The place where they would kill the chicken. And the chicken, oh, yeah, right right down. Down. Yeah, right yeah, yeah, right further down. Yeah, right. I used to go yeah you go there and you put uh -huh. your hands on it's the right. chicken to yeah. feel it, see if they were fat, <laughs> you know. <laughs> and then they would wring the neck off. Wring the neck off. Wring the neck off. Wring the neck off. Take it back and put it in the hot water. Thank God for advancement, because at least we can go to the store and pick up our chicken down the pack. Advancement.